crew was in pursuit of her she saw her like entering the airport she was now like feeling like she's actually leaving hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new highly welcome to today friday where i sit down we do makeup while i talk of romance novel the juiciest romance novel if you something you want to see do well to hit the subscribe button give me a big thumb if you like the video you know i do let's go into this so we started this button series last week See, we have not seen the first video to check it out um button and lace so today we are continuing button and hit so on last on our last video we reached the side that Pearl discovered that it was the boyfriend james that so high into slavery so this she was just in book two it's just started where she they stopped she was just mopping around the house she was like she was aimless saying that she was struggling to go back because there was somebody waiting for her she thought that there was somebody waiting for her but right now there's nobody waiting for her you know she had no family she grew up in foster care so now she was like feeling lost like what is the meaning of life what is life we were just moving mopping around the house and crow like was saying like i expected better from you why are you why are you letting your fire runs out because of one loser and she replied to him hmm, i'm human i'm allowed to have emotions not everybody will be like you you like you are a robot not everybody is a robot like you i have emotions i have to express it the person i had trust in betrayed me to that extent and you are saying i'll just pick up my piece of my life and just move on like that so they had an argument in her room and he went out after in the evening he ordered Lars. La i'll write the name on the screen i don't know whether that's the spelling of that name and that's the pronunciation the butler to come and call her for dinner she said she was not going, she was not feeling like eating. Okay, she told us that he should bring her food to the room, that she does not feel like dressing up and dining. And Lars said, Crow said, you said that. So he said, if you want to have dinner, you have to come downstairs. And she said, okay now, I will not have dinner tonight. And Lars had to go back and tell Crow that um, Pearl was not having dinner. So crew was very angry, he came out, he came upstairs furious, wanting, started shouting at her, why is she letting that loser, blah, 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 and she was just look like, she was looking at him, and he looked into her eyes and saw that she was actually very broken, and he was weakened, he was just, he stopped shouting and said, would you accompany me for dinner? please he, add, he, add, he added please so after dinner she went back to her room she said she was not still not feeling herself she went back to her room and crew came later like when he was ready for bed and asked her whether he wants she wants him to stay with her that night you know normally she will bear crew so that crew will stay in her room or so that she will sleep with him because if she sleep with him the nightmare at her bay but usually crew refuse always refuse but this day crew came and asked her do you want me to stay with you tonight at all she said no no problem that she's okay you should go like crew was actually frustrated he didn't know what to actually do because he was not that feely feely kind of person he was like if there's something wrong he fixed it. So he was like lost. He don't know what to do. So now like trying to reach her. say like you think you have known loss. I have known betrayal. I have known loss too. You say hey what do you know about loss? So he now told her about how he lost his father. Bones killed her. And killed his father. Ten years ago. Then five years later he killed the mother. Then few months later. He killed the sister so he said no what loss is so she was like he started confiding in her so she now helped him in her chest and was trying to console him now so he was like he just jumped out like what am i doing this i'm supposed to be the master here so he now left the room just went and banged the door he was like in his office because he refused sleeping with her after confiding after that intimate moment he was frustrated with himself so he went out so in the next moment while he was in his office he was still thinking 
how did he do that why did he do that actually ah like <laughs> this i'm trying i'm blurring the line she's my slave why did i go and confide in her like that what prompted that kind of moment so he avoided her like for two days he didn't talk to her she too she avoided him too because she too she was healing so after two days he was in his office there's this girl called jasmine jasmine works for him but he has slept with her before so when jasmine came back because jasmine went on an off trip for the vineyard she went for a research in italy was it italy or there about for the vineyard so when jasmine came back like those few days he came like came to his office tried seducing him was like no 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 please i'm with somebody right now she said is this serious he said no it's not serious but you know I'm, i like exclusivity so the jasmine girl was still all over him say oh master if it's not serious that means we can't do anything he was saying no 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 so the jasmine girl like maybe thought he was in a bad mood she went away so that night, after that two days, he now decided to break the silence with Pearl. Came into her room went at night when he came back from work. Told her, okay, he didn't do anything. They dined together quietly. So after dinner, he went to her room, threw her a coin and a button. You guys know what button signifies, right? Threw her a button and they had sex. So after that, like, Pearl discovered that she was developing feelings for him. Like, since there was nobody at home, there was no boyfriend holding her back. Crew was like nice to her. So she discovered like she was falling for him. And she was actually content. She was actually happy. So things were moving actually very well. Like between she and crew. And Kane came around one of those days. Like for a month and they were living happily. So crew came around and um, Kane came around and told crew that the bones, bones had said that she he will pay for her ransom for twenty million dollars. And crew said that there was no deal. And Kane was asking, What is it with this girl that you are saying no deal, no deal? Remember we took her so that we can make bones suffer. He was saying like um Crew was saying like if we punish um Pearl that there is no need for it because she, it won't affect um Bones. She will be the one. She's innocent in this. Can't say he does not care. I hope you are beating her blue and black. He asked him. He refused to answer Kane, and Kane angrily left his house. So the Jasmine girl, she came the like the next day after Crow and Kane left. She came the next day, like this is their love, so this is their developing love. No, nothing is letting them stay. So the Jasmine girl came to King's office, wanted to enter. Okay, came to his house. It was actually his house. You know, Pearl is in his house. He came to his house. And thank God he was the one that answered the door. So when he saw her, he now told her that she was throw in the vineyard. He was just inviting her inside. So as they were strolling in the vineyard, no things now are good with him and Pearl. Pearl is feeling like she's falling in love with him and all. So when the Jasmine girl now they start strolling, like they stroll to that side of the house that is Pearl window. Like the Jasmine girl was begging crew, master, like we seen they had this real relationship before. Master punish me, master this. He was saying no, I told you that I can't. But you see, but you said the things you um what you have is not serious. You said no, I can't do it. So the Jasmine girl like went up and kissed him. And Pearl was in the window. She saw that. She saw that. She was like, why is she feeling okay? After kissing him, like it was not up to how many, it was not even up to a minute. Crew forced himself away. And so I told you no, I told you no. So Jasmine was in the window and was like feeling like, why am I feeling this way? So was this, I've never felt like this. Is this jealousy? Like why should she even be jealous? She was actually mad, like she was angry at herself. 
how dare she develop feeling for this man like it was then so that it was an eye opener for her like you are developing feeling for this person and it felt like the person was taking her for granted because that's how it was looking so she was actually very angry with herself with everything when crew came back to have dinner she refused answering him like gave him radio silence for two days so after two days she could not bottle up the rage inside her again she was like she confront Crow. So when she told Crow, I told you I am yours and you are still going about sleeping with other people. Crow say I said, okay, you said I'm I'm yours and you are still going about sleeping with other people. Crow, his crew reply was, I told you I was yours and you were mine. I didn't say I am yours. Like she was, I'm still your master, I'm blah 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 blah. Taking all those trying to cover up with this thing. So Crow was actually very angry. Like, what is this? So what how dare she develop feeling for this kind of person? The person is taking her for granted. He wanted touching her, she refused. He said she should get out at all. Please, if you have read the book, any part I miss, please do say so in the comment section. So they were arguing now. Now like she refused him this thing. Sex. And Cain left with anger too. He said, I am your master. You shouldn't be detecting to me. So after two days of thinking and thinking and situation, she now resolved resolve that why is she mopping around? The only way for her to leave this place and this feeling is for her to gain her freedom. And while she's denying him sex, it won't that won't gain her freedom. So she now like went all out to end buttons she would like they will be eating dinner she will crawl onto his lap this button like and um, had like you like price you know the price of the why they are earning button and the cost of the button so she would like they will be having dinner she will be going to you know for the buttons she would like tell him do me and do something extreme that will earn extra buttons like 50 buttons or 15 buttons like she will go all out because she was saying that she is ready for her freedom now that she's not going to stay here anymore so crew had to come and explain the nature of the relationship that he was having with the jasmine girl he told her that like they were having something before okay but right now she came on to him and he told her no and she just got that kiss by force and all so she now calmed down things went back to normal like they were into each other again they were having fun so you know that the buttons already increased so she now stole crew that she wanted him to do something that he she's going to give him five buttons she wants him to take her to a restaurant she is tired of staying in the estate and crew was saying so i should take you out in public do you think i'm a fool you're looking for a place that you escape and she said escape to where i promise i won't escape and all 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 she promised she gave her word crew said like five buttons was too much so they bargained until it was 10 buttons that he collected since crew had to find a way to get some of those buttons back because she was accumulating so much and he did not want her to go home because like he said that she he said that he was not going to meet anybody like her anymore but he was not in love with her but she's a strong will and all giving himself excuses why he's not in love with her so they went to one italian restaurant oh it was a french restaurant but she thought that it was an italian restaurant because she she took Ken, that she could not understand anything that they was in the menu Ken, that it was in italian can say no it was in french <laughs> he said oh she has tried so they had fun came back since she bought the day like it was like her buying the day since she bought the day she could do anything she wanted so when she came and they wanted making love she told Ken that she likes she wants him to have vanilla sex you know vanilla now he wanted, to, he wanted him to have vanilla sex with her. Ken refused. He said, ah, I've given you my buttons. You do as I say. Like she was very authoritative. And Ken was like, he got 
he got off with her being authoritative with him he likes when she's authoritative with him so the next day while he was at work Cain, his brother got into his house hit his butler and when he turned and saw Pearl coming down the stairs as Pearl just saw him she started running and when he saw her running she he pursued her I say so this is the blue and black he told me that he had beaten you too he pursued her and she ran to hide he caught her like he 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 beat her blue black like he abused her blue black like she, she like <laughs> when Kane was driving back from work he saw his brother car on the driveway he just knew that there was a problem he ran with pearl in his mind when he entered his room like he entered where um the brother was pearl was on the floor she had passed out and her pool of blood was like she was lying in a pool of blood he was so angry he turned and looked at his brother his brother was holding his head high he removed his gun and shot the brother like like the brother was surprised me i was even surprised like, oh, but is it blood is thicker than water like he shot the brother and rushed her to the hospital like he was begging her not to die on him he promised her even her head rushed her to the hospital she went into surgery after surgery like when she came out of surgery she was still not awake she was still unconscious and he was like praying to everything that could hear him she should be okay and when like after how many after after one day she woke up okay when the nurse everybody tried sending me away from the room that she was in he refused going like looked at the nurse the nurse ran away he did not ask him again and so when she woke up he was apologizing told her I know you hate me for now. I know you hate me for allowing this to happen to you. I'm very sorry. He was apologizing profusely. Um, I would say he does not hate her. Like she was actually very bruised. Like he, he spoiled her face. So she said like she, was, she did not hate him and all. He was apologizing like I'm sorry. She was begging him. He said no problem. So he stayed with her after two days in the hospital or well, after three days in the hospital his butler lies called him and told him that the brother just checked out of the hospital that's when he even remember that they shot the brother <laughs> now say eh, okay the butler say i just wanted you to know he told he thanked the butler and off the phone so after one week at the hospital Pearl said that she was just tired of the hospital, she wanted going home. And he was happy hearing that. Okay, and he asked her, home, home, like in, you want to go back to the state? She said, no, I want to go back to your house. He was actually happy that she could consider his house a home. And he took her back to the house. Made a uh, doctor discharge her that day, took her back to the house. And when she was at the house recovering, she he now told her that she's free to go if she wants to go like there's no debt between them anymore she can stay if she wants to stay in her own free will she said like she wants to stay and he was actually happy pampered her she could not let her walk oh she was badly hurt too so did not let her like move from one place to another he will carry her when she wants to pee he will carry her to bat her you carry her to do everything. So as one of those nights that Pearl was sleeping, because he started sleeping with her now, he did not like tell her not to sleep on his bed or anything. Everything actually changed between them. So he left her on the bed and went to his brother's house. When he knocked, luckily it was the brother that opened the door. The brother came face to him and said, what? He said, you enter my house and broke and you, you beat my slave. He turned and looked at him and said, it's our slave. We decided to do this together and you betrayed me. And you shot at me that he has lost his brother, that he's not, he's not even his brother anymore. And he said, you know why I'm here? Like he beat him up. Like 
he beat his brother up like beat him to blue and black after beating his brother he went back to his house he said that they are scored they have to settle that one like he's his brother it's quite all right that he does not have any other person that Cain was still his brother, but they have to settle that score. He has to beat him up. So Cain, okay now. He let him have his pound of flesh. After beating him, he went back to the house. So after that, he went to meet Cain. You know Cain was the original person that bought Pearl at the ocean. He went to meet, um, not Cain, Bones. He went to meet Bones. So Bones, that he, since Bones offered them $20 million for them to release pearl that is going to offer him 40 million 20 for compensation he said boom not laughed because you know when Ken beat um pearl up he actually sent in the video so he now said i hope he's not like he dropped a bag of money and he said i hope she's not the one in that bag because if she's the one you are, you are not living here alive and he told Crow now told him that he's, he's ready to offer him $40 million. Since he offered them 20, he's offering him $40 billion. Million dollars. 24 is, is like, like as bonus. And Bones now laughed and said, No, it's not. He wants his slave back. That he's not going to stay here and bargain for his slave with him. And Crow told him, you are not going to get her back. You will never get her back. And he was like, eh, okay. That you are starting a war. If you will not let this exchange take place. He now said, okay, let the war begin. And he left there. As he left, he now discovered that he had to make peace with the brother because he was in a very big trouble. Because the brother is the person that is more in charge of the crime side of the family. So he now know that he needs the brother because he has just declared a war with Bones and Bones is very, very dangerous. So <laughs> that same night he went to meet the brother and told the brother what happened. Okay, and offered to pay the brother to $40 million so that the brother will keep quiet. The brother now said, ah, what is wrong? What is actually with this woman that everybody is trying to get her? That he really want to maybe if he sleeps with her one time he will know why everybody is so affiliated with her bones and crow now want him don't talk about her like that don't talk about her like that before we have issues so crow now so his brother came what transpired that he had actually went to pay off bones and bones have refused crow was like angry he said that this is like he has declared a war that this one is even better for their revenge so since Bones actually want this one back and is not going to give him okay, going to give her to him. So he has declared a war that war have started. That they have to take King and um, Bones out before King and um, Bones take them out. So since Pearl have recovered, like she can move as of now. So because um King asks Crow what was the plan? He now say he has no plan first, but when he does, he's going to let him know. And he left that night. When he left that night, he went back to the house and said and and told Pearl what is going on. How he offered to pay bones and bones have refused and all. So the next morning, like bones and um, Kane now came to the house. And Crow told Pearl to dress up like he was being harsh, not his usual stuff that he has been for the past week. And Pearl was like, uh -uh, what is your problem this morning? Why? What has gotten into... What has stuck under your this in your yard like this? He did not say, dress up, wear this one, do this, come downstairs. She was not looking at him. I went downstairs. As she was going down the stairs, she now saw Kane like she was frozen. She didn't know whether she was going to run or what. Um, and the... This person now said, no problem, you should come down, that is not going to hurt you, I'm here. So they now went downstairs and now aligned their plan, how they are going to ambush Bones and that they'll be able to kill Bones. So they now said, told her that she will be the bait. She will be, because Bones have gone underground, nobody knows his whereabouts, nobody knows, there was no trace of Bones anywhere. So they said that, like, Pearl will be the bait 
she will do as if like they will leak information that she have run out so she'll be going to the american embassy as she's going there they will surround the place like when bone bone will come out to fetch her when bone is coming out they will kill bones and they're now like again uh -uh, that plan is that place is an open place that they can't just shoot somebody in an open place like that so um pearl said like she was going to do it they should like try it out first so while they were waiting for this perfect perfect opportunity to come so that they will ambush and um, bones police came to the house with a picture of pearl and the butler came to tell crew that there's a policeman downstairs looking for you saying she's looking he's looking for pearl as a missing person so pearl now say okay crew now turn to pearl and say this is your chance do you want to go or you will stay and he said that like i've decided to stay you should go downstairs and tell them that i'm not here you say are you sure he say i'm sure so he went downstairs the police now asked him the regular missing person questions and he answered and he said okay uh -uh. this means and he was like trying to get information from the police and say ah this person is missing that means the parents are actually looking for it so no, it's not their it's not her parents but the policeman did not indulge any other information and he left the house so they were not arguing uh -uh, who sent the policeman to my house who do you think it's here so crew was thinking that is the brother he was saying like maybe it's my brother is trying to revenge that is going to confront the brother and ask so he went to confront the brother but i say he's not the one that he how can he send the police out um, for him that is not the one that did it so we were like ah, who sent the police person so that one that episode actually passed that um cruel have confronted king for the police sock um king denied so king actually came to the house when crew was not around when he came again, lies came to call her that Master Basat is looking for her. And she went downstairs and asked, are you here to beat me again? And he said no. But he just came to apologize. They are like, apologize for what? See that like they have a brother code, he and the brother. That if everything belongs to this person, they are not going to touch it. And he had repeatedly asked the brother, are you in love with this person? And the brother said, no, I'm not meant for love. I'm not. So he now said that he had discovered that the brother was in love with her. She should forgive him. But he had, if the brother had told him that he's actually in love with her, like she couldn't have touched her. You should forgive him, please. And since now she knows the brother's story, she knows the sister's story that is cruel. And it's bone that killed the sister. So they were now using her to revenge. And she said, okay, there's no problem that she she understands and he was like we are, we are actually very different we are not like every other female some female could have like bear grudges and all but you did not bear it i'm very like grateful you fit my brother i'm proud to call you my sister now you're now my sister and she was like oh thank you very much thank you and he left but before he left he was like insisting that the brother was in love with her and she asked did your brother tell you this he said no but he has never behaved like this with any other female so that's why i know that he's in love with you he has been denying it so like she got it into her head like it's true ah it's true i'm in love with this i'm in love with crew and this and this and she started like putting two and two together and was like oh that means he's actually in love with me so when king came back from work after dinner she was actually very happy you noticed know, that she was actually very happy so after they have finished making love she now told him i love you and she told him i love you like the moment just like they poured him cold water like pee he froze and she repeated i love you like two times and he just stood up from her and went into the bathroom was into the bathroom like he was panicking what was he going to do now and since he left her like that she now left the room went back to her own room no she had her own room she went back to her own room and didn't say anything about that again so after he had come after crowd came his neck in the shower he came out to apologize and discovered that she had gone she had left his room 
so he went to her room went there to apologize he said ah what are you apologizing for i told you i love you and you don't feel the same way so you left so no problem no hard feelings he said i will give you this she said like it's the brother that actually gave her the idea and she said she should say it but she does not feel anything that there is no problem there's no hard feeling but she is not going to sleep in the same bed with him knowing that he does not feel like that with her he was like i um, i know i care about you very much but i'm i can't love somebody i'm not in love with person and he was like okay no problem go back to your room no problem i'm not angry go back to your room but things will not be the same anymore next morning she collected kane's number from the butler and to shoot kane's out for making her telling and uh, tell the brother that she loved him and the brother is not feeling the same way so Kane said that he knows the brother that the brother loves her but like the brother is scared of something but he does not know but he knows that the brother is in love with her Ken, like you are saying you say he does not love me so there's no need and she caught the call like right now she and Ken, they are actually kind of friends so after making that call she now told Kane what is the way forward with Bones that she wants to like find closure so that she will leave like she wants to bring down Bones after bringing down Bones so that she can go home saying she can't stay here the brother does not love her please should ask the brother crew when what time they can take out Bones so the Kane now now called crew okay came to crew's office and was berating crew ah why did you tell her you don't love her why did you leave her like that why did you leave her hanging like that because crew um Pearl actually told him exactly how it happened how she told the brother she loved him and he left her like that and just ran off they now asked the brother why do you leave the girl like that the brother was saying like she does not love anybody that in his life everybody he had ever loved something has always happened to them he loved the father, Bones killed the father, he loved the mother, the mother was killed, the sister now, he loved the sister, the sister was killed. like everybody he loved, something always bad always happened to them. So Kane was saying, ah, you can't let your bad experience make you shy and shy away from loving someone. And he was saying that's how it's going to be, why are you saying this issue? No, this is not why you're putting in your business into my business he said ah this is the botati code i have to make sure i have to make sure you're not making the biggest mistake of your life but so the brother is not mistake he knows his mind he's not in love with pearl but that's okay like pearl is now saying when are they going to when are they going to bring out like for the ambush they were planning for bones so now fix like a day and kane left so that night that this thing occurred like the, there is this bounty on bones since they could not like bones went into hiding since the basati brothers refused to give him uh pearl there was a bounty in pearl's head so bounty hunters came into crow's house that night tie like shatter the window they now kidnap her they were running away with her so she was not like you know that this is she could not shout because they put a gag on her mouth she could not shout but and crow was in his room since she refused sleeping with him these days because he was not in love with her she said she was not going to share a room with him so since they were not in the same room so crew now heard the noise like the breaking of the window in his room in her ran before he ran out he saw a car already moving with pearl on it so he was now like he was actually naked so he tried wearing clothes to pursue as he was pursuing he called his own men he called his brother that they had taken pearls away so they went in pursuit of the, this thing as they were running came to discover that it was actually a female that captured her she was now telling the female ah, why are you doing this why are you doing this? you are um, taking me back to a monster do you want that? The uh, brother said, it's none of my business. My own is the money. If I return you, I know I'm going to get this certain amount. In this, it is you should come to this particular location to place you there. And I'll get this amount. So she was now, he said, how long are we go, uh, from our destination? Like 23 minutes or thereabouts. 
So he now like went out of that uh, interstate that um, crew was leaving. And now driving towards that airport side. She now like tricked them. She was sitting close to the window. So she now like, I don't know what she actually did. Open the door when they went to like um red light we're now waiting for the light to change you now like open the distance and took off since it was a crowded place they did not like make it obvious like that but they were still pursuing her and she ran since okay she noticed that the girl that captured her she looked alike they look alike so she saw like the pause her pause on the car she now took the pause that had money with it so when she ran she took the pause she ran straight to the airport. There was the last flight going to New York City that night. She now booked a ticket because, like, she wanted calling crew, but she didn't have a phone. She didn't even have his number. So she was like, "What is the need? Let me just go." So she now like bought a ticket and bought a ticket. Now bought the plane. Like the when she was going for for the this in there. Now check the like the pictures on this thing and now I'm looking at her she was saying oh they have caught me they have caught me i'm done i'm done like she was thinking it but the policeman did not actually know the difference now congratulating her and she entered she was like i am free i am free i am free this crew was in pursuit of her she saw her like entering the airport she was now like feeling like she's actually leaving okay he was actually proud when he saw her trying to escape he was actually very proud of her or like feeling himself but when he saw her running to the airport he was like feeling she's actually leaving she's actually going to leave me for a new life he saw her enter the airport he was observing her so i boarded the plane and she left and while like he was fast in tracing her was he had a microchips on her for a tracker on her that's what he used to track her, and that's why it was very fast to know her destination now so that she has left him he was feeling wow she had actually leave me it was actually okay that is his fate since he said he's not, not loving him their relationship has changed no problem so guys that's it today for book two of button series we'll continue the last book on pearl and crow next week if you have any book suggestion please do say so in the description box if you're not yet subscribed, please do well to hit the subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs like the video. Give me a good suggestion of books that I should check out. I would like to do so. And I'll reply to every comment. Until next time. Until next week, Friday. Bye-bye.